Hello guys, I'm starting this vlog on a Sunday because I'm trying to get prepared to go to France. So I am currently looking out some clothes to pack into my suitcase because it's only one week to go until I travel to France. Hello friends, happy Monday. So this is my final week in the lab before I go to France on Sunday. So I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday are public holidays. So I only have three days left in the lab to finish everything that I need to do before I go to France. Obviously, I don't need to like finish my PhD before I go to France, but I do have crucial preparation of samples, which I need to bring with me on my France research trip. So today and tomorrow, I'm actually booked in on the HPLC, but I need to do other things while I'm on the HPLC. So I think it's going to be quite a busy week. I also need to check some NMR data from the weekend. I need to check the LCMS data from the run on Friday. It's 8.30 currently. I thought I would come in early because I have a lot of things to do. And I think I've mentioned previously, if my to-do list is quite long for the day, I like to come in early. So I hopefully don't have to stay really super late. Yeah, so this is the final push before I go to France, which is really, really exciting. How am I feeling about the France trip? I'm going for six weeks and I'm going to be doing some testing there, which I can't do in the lab here. So that's why I need to bring my samples with me and need to prepare them. So it's going to be really great because I'm going to be able to learn some new skills, some new bioassay skills, uh, which will be really, really good for my personal development and my skills development. But I will also be able to get some new bioassay results for my samples, which is really important for my thesis. The good thing about this trip is that I should have some time to write my thesis also because I will do be doing the bioassays, but when I'm not doing the bioassays, I won't have any other lab work to do. Whereas when I'm here, I have lots of lab work that I can do because I have all of my work at my disposal. So that'll be really good that I will have less lab time and more time to be able to write. It's going to be really nice to be in a new environment. I feel like working in a new environment for a while kind of like re-motivates you and kind of relights the fire and the passion for your work. I'm hoping that will be an outcome of this trip. I'm also looking forward to meeting some new people, uh, experiencing a new culture, practicing my French because I used to study French at school and my French knowledge is a bit... Uh, it's not so good anymore. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna miss my family and friends and my boyfriend and everything here, but it is only for six weeks, so it's not for too long. And yes, yeah, so I'm super excited for Sunday to go away. We just need to get through these next three days, which are gonna be incredibly busy. So instead of wasting time, I'm gonna go through, see if anyone has arrived yet, because I couldn't go in the lab because there was no one else here. And then I'm gonna get started on my work. Ooh. So I'm just checking the NMR data from the weekend because I was running some 2D experiments which take a really long time like some of the experiments take about eight hours so I had to book a 12 hour slot so I could you know get all of my experiments done and the data looks fine I think which is good I need to just try and find the data now transfer it to my USB and then go into the lab and set up the HPLC for the day so I was freeze drying samples which were in DMSO, which is very difficult solvent to evaporate. So I was freeze drying them over the weekend. As you can see, the temperature is very, very low. Now I'm going to check them and if they're all good, then I can weigh them to take with me on my trip. Hello, my friends. We are back in the NMR room, which seems to be my second home at the moment because I'm isolating compounds, checking them on the NMR to see if I have what i expect to have and yeah things are going well uh it's 11 30 currently i have not vlogged this morning because i had to set up the hplc i also had to check the automation of the hplc that was running last night uh, the temperature must have dropped quite a lot during the night because the peaks shifted the retention time halfway through the night so i could only take half of the collected vials or else the other peaks would have had some impurities in them which is okay so it wasn't all lost but I only managed to recover 10 vials instead of 20 vials from 20 runs but it's fine. So I am testing my NMR sample to see if it has enough uh, liquid for tomorrow. <laughs> guys it's after lunch now my hplc is running smoothly i'm just checking on it every so often to make sure that the peaks aren't shifting yeah i'm in a good place right now i am now gonna sit and edit my video for tomorrow just for a little while to have a little break then we'll check the hplc again and hopefully everything is going okay hello friends it is wednesday and i am checking my nmr that ran last night and it looks 
perfect, so that is good. I need to remove the sample and I need to dry the sample because it's very important for me to take with me to France. Yeah, I emptied the HPLC this morning, uh, collected all my files, I'm now drying the fractions and need to get an NMR of both of these fractions today too to see if they are the compounds that I am hoping for. And yes, basically I'm going to be tidying up some stuff and getting organized to leave the lab for six weeks. Oh. I'm just showing a few of the peaks on the HSQC NMR, but it looks so nice. I can't give away the whole structure, I'm afraid, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Hello, friends. I have prepared all my samples. I'm just waiting for one sample to dry to take an NMR if I have time, but if I don't, then it's okay. I'm hanging around because I'm playing squash at 10 past five and it's half past three currently, so I can find things to do until half past three. Until half past three? Until five. <laughs> Uh, definitely. So I just wanted to show you my little sample box with all of my samples that I'm bringing with me. So this is the little sample box here. Ignore this. It's an old box that I just found lying around. See if I can do this one-handed. Wait a second. So to keep all of the samples safe, I've just put this foam because ta -da, all of my samples are hiding underneath. So yep, I've got all my samples ready to be tested when I go to France. Hey. I also have my lab books to take with me because, like I say, I'm going to be doing a lot of writing in between experiments when I'm over there. So if I'm not testing these samples, I'm going to be using my lab books to furiously write my thesis. Ugh. I really need to get a move on with writing my thesis. So there's not really been much that I've showed you in the lab this week because I've either been very busy or not doing anything too exciting. But yeah, I think I'm going to round off this week's vlog here. I mentioned earlier I have two days off because it's a public holiday tomorrow and Friday and then heading to France on Sunday. So the next time you see me, I will be in France. <laughs> I'm going to be practicing my French while I'm over there. I might try and in introduce some French phrases in my next couple of vlogs. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in France. Bye! Hi guys, please excuse the mess. I've been to squash. I'm yet to shower. But I know I already ended the vlog, but I just wanted to come on and say that I have had such a successful two weeks. I am really really happy with how my results have gone and I feel like I have not said this in a very very long time so I am treasuring the fact that I am happy with my results. I've managed to isolate compounds which hasn't happened in a long time either and yeah I'm just really starting to believe in myself and my abilities again because I'm seeing success in my work finally. Yeah I was just doing some reflecting I was just looking at some NMR just now and it looks like I have another new compound. Not new compound another compound of the compounds that I was trying to isolate. I'm trying not to give away too much information. So it means that my methods are working, my thought processes are working, and I'm finally getting to where I want to be, which is good. So this all come at a very good time before going to France. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here for the second time. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to jump on and share my thoughts with you guys because I'm feeling very happy with how my PhD is going. And she does not say that very often, so this is a big moment. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!